Shocking details revealed Tuesday about the police response to the school shooting in Uvalde, Texas. There's compelling evidence that the law enforcement response to the attack at Robb Elementary was an abject failure. A damning assessment from Texas Public Safety Director Stephen McCraw. He told a state Senate hearing into the massacre that the door to the classroom where 19 children and two teachers were killed last month was not locked and officers didn't even check it as they waited for a key standing armed in the hallway for over an hour before they finally stormed in and killed the gunman. Three minutes after the subject entered the West Building, there was sufficient number of armed officers wearing body armor to isolate, distract, and neutralize the subject. The only thing stopping a hallway of dedicated officers from entering room 111 and 112 was the on-scene commander who decided to place the lives of officers before the lives of children. The on-scene commander McCraw is pointing to is Uvalde School Police Chief Pete Everdondo. At a school board meeting Monday, parents of the young victims, among those calling for Aaron Dondo to be fired. How is Ms. Redondo still with the program? Suspend them pending termination. It's an insult to injury. These people are in pain. And the chief, by the way, in an interview with the Texas Tribune, said that he didn't think he was in charge during that horrific attack. So where was Arredondo Tuesday? He wasn't far away from that Senate session. He was testifying in a separate hearing by the Texas State House of Representatives. This one, though, was held behind closed doors, not open to the public. Now, the police response to the school shooting now under the microscope in federal, state and local investigations. Melissa Duggan, City News.